Airport infrastructure remains very high on government's agenda. The Deputy Prime Minister and the Prime Minister would have forecasted that by the end of this first quarter, we anticipate groundbreaking uh, at the Grand Bahama International Airport and also the New Byte Airport. And that's just the beginning of the rollout of airport upgrades in country, says Deputy Director General of Tourism, Dr. Kenneth Romer. Over the next uh, three uh, years, uh, we are going to see, certainly by the end of 2025, at least five airports uh, in the Bahamas. And I think this is going to probably be historic for our country. Long Island, Cat Island, North Eleuthera, Exuma and Grand Bahama will be the first stop for facelifts in the airport infrastructure program. The airport infrastructure program aims to improve air transport connectivity and flow of people to and from our family islands. Such connectivity will be done through infrastructure improvements and climate change resilience by upgrading, rehabilitating, and maintaining selected airports to comply with international aviation standards Public Works Minister Alfred Sears revealing that funding for the upgrades of these airports is made available through lending from the Inter-American Development Bank. The commitment is uh, to improve the infrastructure of aviation uh, because, as you know, it plays a critical role in, uh, the develop in economic development. Tourism is our major uh, industry. Um, but it also plays an important part in the integration of the country. While the monies made available through the IDB will go toward the facelift of these airports, Dr. Romer revealed that a series of public-private partnerships will also facilitate the development of the overall product at each airport. We expect very soon to launch what we probably would refer to as the most aggressive uh, airport infrastructure uh, PPP program, so an RFP process. It's going to give our uh, concessionaires the opportunity uh, to invest in our airport infrastructure. I'll say this one, that there is perhaps unprecedented demand uh, from investors who are interested in partnering with the government uh, to develop uh, these airports. So we're very optimistic. The country welcomed over 7 million tourists last year. Over the next three years, officials say foreign direct visitor arrivals will only continue to mushroom. So it's with this in mind that airport infrastructure must be addressed to handle the projected load. The Ocele, Eyewitness News.